When I was a young child, for as far back as I could remember, I always wanted to be a teacher when I grew up. I came from a family of educators, I loved being around kids, school was fun for me, my friends were all there, and I knew that you could go anywhere in the world and be a teacher because they're needed everywhere. But as I got older and went through school more, I heard things like this. You can do better. Being a teacher doesn't get you enough money. So I went off to college and I was somewhat undecided. What should I follow for a career path? What's the best choice for me? And once you were pressured to decide a major, I knew that deciding to be an education major meant choosing between elementary or high school, and high school meant a specific subject area. So of all the schooling subjects, my favorite was probably English, books, and reading, and writing. And so I decided a high school English teacher was what I was going to strive for. I immediately started taking classes and getting experiences in classrooms. And I noticed right away that in high school English classes, kids didn't want to be there. And I thought, how can I go and teach every day if the kids don't even want to be there? So I thought, how can I put these English classes to good use in other career paths? I considered journalism and strongly thought of going to law school with an English degree for a long time until I finally found what my heart settled on, which was elementary education. Graduated with a degree, got a job teaching fifth grade and did it for about a decade and noticed early on in teaching that technology was that connector. It was that motivator and how I could better engage my students. So I wanted to learn more. I got a master's in educational technology and an Ed media endorsement and I continued to use technology to reach more and more people, teaching graduate classes and community night classes. And I got to do some pretty amazing experiences and work with some pretty incredible people to try to make a difference in the world of education. And that all led me to my current role, Instructional Technology Facilitator at ESU 8. A job that I love and a career path that wouldn't have been possible had it not been for the entire story and history of my journey. You see, when I was dreaming of being a teacher as a young child, the career path of technology integrationist didn't truly exist. And had I known that I was starting out at point A and going straight on a linear path to point B and not been flexible and open to learning new things, I would never have gained the experiences that I did along the way, which has led me to something that I'm extremely proud of, and that is a career path in educational technology.